So the emergency notification application, I could spend an entire hour just talking about this application. This is extremely popular for our educational customers. But some examples, someone dials 911. Well, that's great. They dial 911, and that's the external facing. But how do we? What if we want internal facing stuff? Well, I can do screen pops to various desktops that display where the 911 call was placed. You know, building two, cube three. It can display that um, in a text fashion. I can acknowledge that. So, like popping to security personnel or uh, receptionists. So, let's say 911 call goes out, ambulance shows up. Where do they go? Well, the operator can greet the ambulance, or emergency personnel can greet the ambulance, and they have they're armed with even more specific data on where that 911 call was placed. In addition to just doing screen pops with the emergency notification application. I can do things like I can call external numbers. So maybe I call a specific list of cell phone numbers for safety officers or management, and I can do a text-to-speech translation that says 911 call place at building 3, cube 2. So I can do external calls, or I can even do a, an overhead page. There's a lot of things we can do. And when I say the overhead page, that's a great example of the one below at lockdown. So we're doing this with some of our educational customers to where if someone was to dial a code on a phone, it will say, you've initiated a lockdown procedure um, to, you know, to proceed in five, four, three, two, one, and then boom, it, you can initiate a whole series of things. I can place an overhead page, you, you know, we're now in lockdown, return to your classrooms, we can do things like do the screen pops, we can call external numbers, we can do all the text-to-speech translations. Um, so the emergency notification was originally built for all, you know, more emergency type stuff, works extremely well in multi-site and campus type environments where these things are becoming more and more critical extremely popular, but then we have customers that use it for a lot of different things as far as, like you can see, parking blue light, cleanup requests. You can have different codes that do different screen pops, and, and, and you, can, you can initiate a series of, of events, whether it's screen pops, calling internal numbers, external numbers, paging, etc., based on where the code was, was dialed and when. So very popular application. Again, this is just supposed to be a high-level stuff, so if we want to get into it in a little more detail. That contact one of your sales personnel or support people. Uh, short calls are real nice.